and with that sound, history was made. The Costco becoming the first vessel ever to pass through the expanded Panama Canal on Sunday, completing the almost 80-kilometer journey. Nearly 300 meters in length, the Chinese ship arrived at the new Cocoli locks on the Pacific side, carrying nearly 10,000 containers, an impossible feat in the older, smaller passageway. At its side, fans and much fanfare. To us Panamanians, the canal is way more than just an engineering and technology masterpiece. It symbolizes what Panama's isthmus represents for the international community, a meeting point between east and west, between south and north. The new locks use tugboats on both sides of the vessel, a new hydraulic technology that reuses water in several locks. Planning for this moment started more than a decade ago, after Panama gained full control of the canal from the U.S., which built the original locks and ran them for 85 years. I think being a small country and having this canal is like the best we can have and the best that we can um, tell the world that no matter the size of your country, you can have great things. If you do them right, you need good people and you need people from all over the world to make this happen. The $5 billion project was Panamanian-led and included Spanish and Italian consortiums. There were hiccups along the way, deadlines missed, budgets surpassed, but that didn't stop the people here from feeling proud of the final product. It's very exciting and it's a very emotional moment for us. I have waited a good, a good piece of my life to see an event such as this, probably never imagined to see it, and I'm terribly happy to see it. Well, the locks behind me are now closed, but the expanded canal is now open for business. The largest ships can expect to pay close to a million dollars to pass. And as for the maiden vessel that just crossed, it's expected to reach the port of Shanghai in August. Rui Ruttenberg, CCTV in Panama City, Panama.